everyone, tonight we are going to the largest observatory in Canada and it dates back to 1935. It still runs on its own generated power. Astronomy education programs are run often and we are going to the astronomy night talk. Waiting for the sun to set and seeing the observatory light up was magical. The evening started with a short astronomy talk about recent discoveries and happenings we can see in the fall. Then we divided into groups and got to visit the telescope. The telescope is still operated by hand cranks. I've always loved everything to do with space and even wanted to be an astronomer when I was a kid. Here's an illustration I created in the past. I'd love to visit that kind of space museum one day. It was cloudy at first, and we were so close to not seeing anything at all. But the sky cleared up just in time to catch an amazing glimpse of Saturn. We could actually see the rings in even one of Saturn's moons. studio vlog, I painted this plate and here it is. I'm quite happy with how it turned out and I particularly like the speckled sprinkles texture. It's sitting in my studio right now but maybe one day I'll have breakfast on it. Editing an illustration I created previously. The original was painted on a more textured paper with watercolors, which I then scanned in. I prefer to have a smoother finish as I feel too much texture detracts from the overall interpretation of the scene. I have a custom brush I specifically made to soften out skin tones and surfaces. It's basically a soft round brush at a low opacity. I made these mochi bunnies in preparation for a mid-autumn festival. The fillings inside were custard, chocolate, or matcha. A few weeks ago, I went on my first camping trip of the season. There were so many interesting mushrooms I came across during our hikes. All sorts of shapes and sizes I didn't even know existed. It was like a scavenger hunt for them. I wanted to document my findings as a postcard. This black and white style is one I often use for my comic type of illustrations. I really enjoyed getting looser by incorporating graphite and colored elements. I was so thrilled to find a local art store at the nearest town. It was surprisingly so well stocked and all kinds of brands I haven't seen in the city too.
first, I had to pick up a few things, a bunch of colored pencils, some markers, and paint saver keys. Do you know what that is? I'm super excited about these vintage pencils, and actually the next day I went back to grab some more. I tried them out immediately and testing the pencils for smudging and erasability. try to pop in the nearest antique shops. I just love the experience so much and I found so many cute things on this particular trip. some of the vintage buttons I found at the antique shop just now. I only noticed after I bought them, but they all have some orange in the designs. My favorite color. I like the retro typography very much. This is my art on the go pencil case. It's quite big and can fit a giant handful of pens. This brush pen is one of my favorites. The fine strokes you can achieve with it are really nice and gives great variation of line weights. Pencil caps are great to keep the inside of the pen case clean and tips against breakage. Here's a retro postcard I picked up on the camping trip too. I'm always interested in encyclopedia type illustrations. I ordered this keyboard specifically for Procreate recently. It streamlines actions such as switching between eraser and pencil, accessing the transform functions, copy, paste, color wheel, I found it minimized the amount of taps I needed to do with the pencil, and it made my workflow a bit more efficient. This is a jewelry shop I came across at Kyoto in a shopping street. I pulled up my reference photo I took and starting with a pencil sketch as usual. pencil I bought at the art store. The quality of it is amazing. It sharpens to such a fine and sturdy point. Nothing like any of the modern pencils I have tried so far. The lead never broke on me throughout the entire drawing. A 
I'll be using watercolors and gouache for this piece. The shop has lots of blacks, so I'm using this dark set of watercolors I bought in Tokyo. They are all blacks tinted with another color, which gives the color much more depth and visual interest than a pure black. It also results in interesting granulations textures. French motifs on the storefront were interesting, particularly with the lattice-like facade and bricks. I started painting that with a light wash of brick red and going over it with another layer to darken the bricks. this time and I'll see you for another one soon. Bye!